Um, I, I mentioned the other day about uh, Peter Aring uh, still suffering from this um, pelvic problem. Um, so that's something we're investigating just now. But I think we'll need to, to do something in, in that regard. Um, when that is, we've still got plenty of time. Um, we've got enough cover at the moment to, to for me to feel that we can go into competitive matches without worrying too much. He's away down south tomorrow, I think, uh, to get another investigation, and, uh, and we'll get uh, the results of that towards the end of the week. So I'm hopeful that we'll get to the bottom of it. And that's basically the problem, find out exactly what, what we need to, to fix. And once we've got that, we can we can get on with it. I mean, there was, there was also the, the added complication that uh, we weren't 100% sure whether Arno Zoom was staying or leaving. Well, we now know the answer to that. Um, so that probably just reinforces my thoughts that we need another midfield player. And Irvin's in contention. Uh, he's done, he did well towards the end of last season and also uh, he's done reasonably well in pre-season. So at this minute in time, I'm not in a rush to, to bring another player in. I feel that I want to give some time to, to uh, uh, Harry and maybe to uh, Harry Cochran, maybe to Andy Irvin, maybe you know some of the forward positions. If people are not up to speed, then Andy McDonald and Dario Zanata can be involved as well. What I don't want to do is is heap pressure on them. I like to be able to put the young players in and out based on on the rest of the team and the support they get from from the the positions round about them. So you know relying solely on the young players is never a good thing. But having the Having the opportunity to choose which games they go in and which games they come out is, is much better.